Okay, so we've built a new deck, a black red one, and we try to fling that at a Garrick. Um, this is the first time playing this deck, so it might just not work out at all. Uh, that hand's terrible, of course. That is better. Of course, the shock does not kill the putrid leech, but it does kill the rune crawl bears. So it's good. Trying for ferocity, you yeah, sure. It doesn't do anything right now. I do like that. We don't need to take Tonic Rift. Let's just keep up Shock. That doesn't do anything. So we should probably draw into one of the big bombs already, like the Inferno Titan would be great. Did I put that in? I think I did. Other than that, I could do like Storm Breath Dragon or the Siege Dragon or whatever is there. Rune Scar Demon wouldn't be too bad. Garrick's Pack Leader, sure. Okay, I like Active Treason. Oh, let's scry. Uh, suffer the pass, we don't need that. Why did I attack with the scorpion again? I could have blocked the pack leader without a hash. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, Wrecking Ogre is pretty good. Oh, that's active trees in this. Assassinate the other. And just attack with the pack leader. And leave the death touch scorpion back on defense. And blood rush is five. Okay, we could do that. Plus three, so that would be four. Ooh, Tectonic Rift, I'd much rather do that. I'll leave this back on defense. Mm -hmm. 
so we can at least do this here. Does not have trample, right? No. Oh, plus three, plus three, and double strike. I did not see that. I could have killed him right there, didn't I? No, I couldn't. That would have been eight damage, but... Yeah. I'm not on my game today. So, let's just try that again. This isn't great either. Huh. Sure. Assassinate's good. Thing is, death touch you, that's nice. Plus four, minus four, all right, yeah. So I can actually use that as removal. Mountain? Okay with that. He has two in his graveyard. Mm -hmm. Mountain. Swamp. Okay, that thing dies next turn. Uh, or maybe it won't because it won't attack into my death touch guy. I should have done that post combat. I am a fucking idiot. That thing has trample. What are you doing? I thought that doesn't matter. The damage is blocked, but it has trample, right? Yeah, that looks fine. Shocked. Having a menu to choose whether I want to hit creatures or players is actually pretty stupid because I could just 
click on the portrait, right? That's how my MTGO does it. This is not the kind of deck that I feel most comfortable with. I do like my control decks. A mountain would have been fantastic there. to just the mana base for that. Maybe like 13-11. Work that through for now. If I draw a mountain, I just kill it. very good against his creatures. Why did it tap the mountain when I played Assassinate, huh? Tectonic Rift. Yeah, we have nothing else to do, right? So you might as well. Okay. Ah, uh, let me adjust my deck though. It's not getting us anywhere. That as a blocker. Okay, I did put the Tightening. So let's take out a swamp, put in a mountain, and let's roll. Hmm. 
This end is mocking me. Very, very good cards, but not the mana to cast them. I need double red to cast both. So, yeah, we will just gamble. I have three turns to draw mountains, so that's not that unlikely. Okay, and there's the mountain. So, very slow hand, but very, very powerful. I hasted Inferno Titan, holy shit. And flash to dust against anything that he might play. He's not playing anything for now. Removal spell would be fantastic. Or oh, that. Yeah, 9-9 nine, nine double strike uh, Inferno Titan would be amazing. Okay, so here's the thing that I will try out. Uh, gain control of Rampaging Baylos and play a land. Okay, that does actually work. Hit you for six. And play Cruel Sadist. Land would be fantastic. Thank you. That is that's an instant, okay. Never mind. It's better to kill that before his next land drop, right? So this we may actually use. Unfortunately, I'll take six here, but that can't be avoided, I guess. Okay. Mm, can I keep up? Yes, I can. Okay, I'd much rather do that. Does not say non black, right? Attacking creature, this. Ha ha ha. Good. Good. Fuck you. Okay, I'll try it once more and then I'll, um, I'll call it a day if that doesn't, doesn't do it. Oh, this hand is so crap. Nope. Nope. Restart. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Mm 
That means Bold of Keronosis online. I think I will actually build up Karen as that. Or oh, shock. Yeah, shock seems bad. Could play that instant speed buff is the point. you for two. Rotten hell. I don't feel we will uh, beat the second Garrick with this deck. It just seems weaker than our blue-white one. It's a sorcery. Okay. Garrick's back there. Yeah, sure. Don't mind that. Ooh, can I? That's actually interesting. Let's try that. Ha! <laughs> okay, I actually got an achievement for that. What is that? What does that do? Uh, insult to injury. Sacrifice a creature you don't own. <laughs> nice. on top here, forgot. Uh, okay, it holds off the Baylos for now. Or what I could do is play Agent of the Face targeted with Bolt of Kyranos and he has to sacrifice it. That seems okay. I do lose my Agent of the Face in the process, but... I get to scry one. Let's let's just try that line. Can't be cast. Can't be cast. Why can't it be cast? He has to target creature or play of scry one. Uh, oh, simplified targeting is on. That's why. Cancel. Options. You have simplified targeting on. That means you cannot do sensible decisions. Uh, simplified targeting. Let's turn that off. Uh, yeah. Now I can. A covenant of blood, I actually don't know. That was kind of an awkward line there, but I think getting rid of his rampaging bales for the cost of a bolt of Keranos was worth it.
Let's just play Covenant of Blood, huh? Let's not get him into the game. So, 24, he's at 8. We are looking okay. Oh, you have another one of those. I forgot. Maybe we draw a removal spell. Mm, that's kind of a removal spell. Not really, mind you. Well, it keeps his guys at bay. That's what it does. is fine. Active treason would be sweet. That is nice as well. I can at least get rid of the beast token for now. Yeah. Let's do that. Inferno Titan would be amazing as well. Jesus, he gets to draw four cards at the beginning of his turn. Mm -hmm. I will take those three damage, sir. Okay, he draws five cards at the beginning of his turn. doesn't do anything. Even a creature would have been nice, so I could have sacrificed both to Devouring Swarm and go in for four. He will probably Alpha Strike here. He has like overrun in the deck, I'm so far. Jesus Christ, how many cards do you want to draw? Yep, he alpha strikes. Uh, that's six. Uh, Eleven. Fourteen, yeah, that's fine. Huh. Can we kill him that way? Yeah, we can. Let's do that. Terrible as well, what I will do. See, that's what I mean. You just draw a bad hand and you lose because of that, and then you're screwed. And you have to do the first phase over and over again. Opens us up to Corpse Blockade or Augusbury, which is nice. Which 
Start to sacrifice another creature gains death touch until end of turn. Mm -hmm. Wrecking Ogre's pretty good. Putrefy shot. Waste that on my child of night. Okay, he doesn't do anything. Okay, land's pretty good. Uh, we will just kill us by you. Screw him out of his mana. And ramp up our own mana so we can play Indulgent Tormento or Wrecking Ogre. not have Putrid Leech, that is very, very good. So, let's play Indulgent Tormentor. You will have some form of removal, I believe, something like Putrefy or something. But, uh, we have to go for it, right? So, do you pay life? You do not. Okay. Ooh, active trees are pretty good. Now I want to bring in corpse blockade because of that. Um, actually, if we sacrifice the wrecking ogre here, that is a an eight eight double striker. Yeah. We will see what he does. Whether he has a removal spell or not. Okay, let's try that. I hope he does not have a removal spell. He does not. Okay, so take 16 damage to the fucking face, you fucking idiot. Boom. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next turn we can probably even finish him up with a Volcanic Geyser. We have removal for everything. Okay, so we cannot finish him off with that. But what we can do is just active trees in the thing. He does not sacrifice it. He does not. So we just active treason it and attack in for the win. Ah, oh, sweet. That is that. Okay, that battle took long. Uh, I don't know why they did that, that you have to go through both phases every time you lose, but finally we managed to come out on top. So yeah. Uh, do we now beat the game? Spellbookcraft, a built-in new deck, sacrifice a creature you didn't own. Defeat the final boss. Persona, Persona. Cool. Do we get some sort of cutscene or something like that? Bind the Hedron into it. Its magic will do the rest. You did all right, Planeswalker. I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you did it. I still don't know why we are the way we are. Or what the spark means for each of us. But using our power to save a plane from destruction isn't a bad start. Wow, cheesiest cutscenes ever. Okay, that was Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2015. Uh, kind of a bad game, I must admit. Uh, pacing is way too bad. First games were so freaking grindy. Um, it shows flashes of brilliance every now and again. The, the battle against Riku was amazing and all that. But, yeah, I did not enjoy my time with it uh, very much. Well, I had a good time, but, nah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Everyone, for now, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Lafaria. See you next time. Goodbye.